ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Now let's put that power to the test. It's time for K-Check! Hello everyone, I am Junelle Labor. Ako po si Aimee Sue Martinez and this is K-Check, the newest and smartest game show on Philippine television. We search all over the country for people na hindi nagsasawang dagdagan ang kanilang kaalaman. Titignan natin kung gaano katende ang brain power nila. And in the final week of the competition, malalaman natin kung sino ang kauna-unahang tatanghaling K-Check champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Well, is a sales executive who likes travel and public speaking. Alvin is studying economics at the Polytechnic University of the Philippines and he lists reading as his favorite hobby. Polly is a film student and an adventurous soul who enjoys coffee, music, sports, and human company. Gabby is a second year BS Geology student at UP Diliman. He has spent 4,000 hours playing Dota 2. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Professor Wendell Kapili, College of Arts and Letters, UP Diliman. Professor Ricky Nelias of the Institute of Chemistry, UP Diliman. And Professor Neil Santillan, Chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. And now, contestants. Papasok na tayo sa K-Check Paramihan, where each correct answer is worth 10 points. It is your chance to bag as many points as you can and take the all-important early lead. Let's begin! Let's begin. Well, alpha and beta are the first two letters in what language's alphabet? Phonetic. Male. Greek. Alvin, what number is the sum of 28 and 11? 39. K-check. Polly, which DC superhero is the arch enemy of the Joker and Catwoman? Batman. K-check. Gabby, what hearing device invented by Rene Lyonek is used by doctors to listen to chest sounds? Cardiogram. Malet, stethoscope. Well, what number is 12 less than 24? Negative 12. Malet, tw uh, 12. Alvin, Voldemort is the main villain of which film franchise? How he party. K-check. Polly, what botanical term can also describe a vehicle that runs on gasoline and electricity? Automobile. Male, hybrid. Gabby, what number is half of 62? 31. K-check. Well, the traitorous feline scar, that's S-C-A-R, and his hyenas, are the bad guys in which Disney film? No, no idea. The Lion King. Alvin, what province is immediately to the east of Occidental Mindoro? Occidental Mindoro. Okay, check. Polly, what number is 8 more than 99? 107. Okay, check. Gabby, in what film franchise do villains Darth Vader and Kylo Ren appear? Star Wars. Okay, check. And that's it for round one for K-Check. And that's it for our first round, the K-Check Paramihan round. So, Polly mentioned in her application that she likes human company. What does that mean? Mm. Polly, can you tell us about that? Well, I enjoy being with other people, with friends, but that doesn't mean I don't like animal company. Mm. Actually, my full name is Polly Birdie, so means I really like birds as well. Oh, okay. Pinaglihi ka ba sa Birdie, Polly? Yes. Polly Birdie. Ah, okay. Okay. Great to know that. Okay, ikaw naman, Alvin. Sabi mo, reading. Ano yung pinakamahabang binasa mo sa buhay mo? Hindi ko ako mag-iyaga eh. Mm. Pero ba't gusto mo magbasa? Wala lang, happy ka. Ah, oh, happy, happy. Oh, sige, ako din happy ako magbabasa ako, no? Oh. Ikaw ba happy ka magbasa? Absolutely. Okay. Reading makes Alvin happy. Mm -hmm. 
kanya-kanyang happiness yan. Correct. And so now let's go back to the points that were garnered by our contestants. So on the lead, we have Alvin at 30 points, followed by Polly and Gabby at 20 points. And well, habol po tayo. Kayo, ilang tanong ang nasagot nyo? Ako, siguro mga tatlo lang din. No? Kailangan ko pang mas magpakuha yung iba. Kumbaga. Work harder. Parang si Well. <laughs> At ready na ba kayong lahat for our pabilisan round? Next here on Game Check! check! Tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Magkakaroon mo tayo ng recap. Nanguuna si Alvin with 30 points. Sunod si Polly and si Gabby with 20 points at hahabol si Well. Professor Wiggy, may tanong ka daw kay Well. Meron nata. Mm -hmm. Well, Hi, mahilig ka daw sa travel. Yes, Prof. Anong may isasuggest mo sa akin na area na pwedeng lakwatsahan dito sa Pilipinas? Oh, well, the last, the last destination that I had uh, this year was, uh, I think that was in Boracay. That was last March. And that was my first time. And I really enjoyed it because I'm a type of a person who wants to have, you know, especially if you're working so hard for your family and you just want to have a peace of mind and you want to, you want to be inspired so that you, you, you'll become more energized when you come back home. Mm -hmm. So I think I, I would strongly recommend if you haven't tried Boracay. So. Mm -hmm. Nakaka-energize sa Boracay. Siyempre. Napumunta ka na ba Boracay? Oo naman. Na-energize ka? Oo naman. Okay. Ako din na-energize ako doon. Co-Prof Wendell, na-energize ka ba sa nangyayari ngayong hapong ito? Oo. Very energetic ang ating mga contestants. At sa tingin ko ay sila ay didibdibi nila ang susunod na round sapagkat uh, from the, the way they have been performing, nakikita mo yung kanilang determination to respond to the questions and to be able to participate and to enjoy this whole experience. Mm -hmm. Sabihin, fighting. Sana narinig pala yun ni Well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're now going into K-Check Pabilisan. Buzz in first for the right to answer the question. Correct answers are worth 20 points. Pero sa round na ito, minus 10 points ang maling sagot. Kaya contestants, think before you press that buzzer. Let's begin! Let us now begin with the very first question for round two. Michael J. Fox stars as Marty and Christopher Lloyd plays Doc Brown in what 1985 time travel movie? Gabby. Into the Future. Malay. Polly. Into the Future. Okay, check. Next question. What general term refers to the study of the Earth's physical structures, especially its crust and rocks? Well. Geography. Malay. Polly. Geology. Okay, check. I was looking at Kathy. <laughs> Question three. Standing about 6,000 meters tall, Kilimanjaro is the highest mountain in what continent? Gabby. Africa. Okay, check. Next question. In K-pop, debuting at one, number one on the Billboard Hot 100 chart, which 2020 BTS song became its first number one single in the United States? Polly. Butter. Molly. The correct answer is Dynamite. Alfredo Linguini and a rodent, Remy, are the main characters of what 2007? Ratatouille. Polly? Ratatouille. Okay, check. In statistics, what do you call the middle value in an arranged set of data? Median. Gabby. Median. Okay, check. Next question. In golf, what do you call the score for one stroke less than par in a hole? Correct answer is Birdie, and I thought Polly will be able to answer this. <laughs> Question 8. Which monster battled Kong in the 2021 blockbuster film that turned. Godzilla. Yes, Gabby. K check. <laughs> Which city in Syria is known for being the world's oldest country capital? Polly. Damascus. K check. Question 10. Which band's debut album included the hit singles Broken Sonnet and The Day You Said Goodnight? 
Yes, Gabby? Hail. Okay, check. Question 11. Last, uh, almost, this, look, next to the last question. Which Greek epic poem set during the Trojan War is attributed to Homer? <laughs> Alvin. Iliad. Okay, check. And the last question. Measuring about 50 centimeters in adults, what is the longest bone in the human body? Gabby. Femur. Okay, check. And that's it for round two. And that's the end of our K-Check Pabilisan Round. Grabe yung round na yun, ha? Oh, Diba imagine mo may 110 points tayo. Oh, no? Very high school. Kaya mo yun? Kakayanin. Okay. Ikaw, sa tingin mo, Prof. Neil, kakayanin ito ng mga sudyante natin? Wow, ang galing ng batch na ito. Napakatapang at may dunong. So, congratulations. It's mas exciting next round. Pero may, pwede ba akong magtanong sa isa sa mga sure. contestants? Okay. So, kay Gabby. Gabi, ano bang saysay ng pagdodota sa buhay mo? Kasi um, gusto kong maintindihan, kasi gusto rin ng anak ko ang pagdodota. It's a stress reliever lang po. Kapag pagod na pagod na sa pag-aaral, tapos kailangan ng break, nagdodota ako para ma-refresh yung ano, mind. So, nakikita ko ba ang future suma ng UP Diliman? I kasi like may mga to... nag-suma sa panahon ng remote learning, yun daw yung pastime nila. I would like to break the norm. No. Hindi ako magsusuma. <laughs> Akala ko inspirational yung sinabi ko. Thank you so much, Sir Neil. And ikaw ba? Mahilig ka mag-Dota? Hindi, walang oras. Daming trabaho, di ba? Try mo para at least, di ba? Suma kum laude ka din. In a few minutes, magkakaalaman na as we go into Ultimate Pagalingan. Up next, here on K-Check! Welcome back. And these are the current scores of our contestants. On the lead, we have Gabby at 110 points. And then we have two people following Gabby, Alvin and Polly at 70 points. Well, habol! Mukhang magkakasubukan, no? We'll find out in our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan where correct answers are worth 30 points. Wrong answers get a 15-point deduction. At para mas madagdagan ang kaalaman ng ating mga contestants at viewers, sa round na ito, sa mga professors ng ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga tanong. At the end of this round, malalaman na natin kung sino ang tatanghaling K-Check Daily Winner. Contestants, let's begin! Let's begin. Prof. Wendell, question number one, please. Question number one, who is the country's first national artist? Polly! Fernando Armour Solo. Okay, check. At nais kong idagdag na siya ang lolo ni Yula Valdez, award-winning actress. Yula Amor Solo Valdez. So, Yula, Thank you. Prof. Ricky. Dinoflagellates are single-celled organisms with two dissimilar flagella. They are capable of producing bioluminescence, but in its excess, can cause a natural phenomenon most commonly known as what? Alvin. Red tide. Okay, check. Prof. Neil? The Panangbenga Festival is a major festival of what city up north? Gabi. City. Sikat din ito bilang summer capital of the Philippines. Ang tamang sagot ay Baguio. Okay, check. Prof. Wendell. Next question. Which novelist became the first Japanese to win the Nobel Prize for Literature? Kaibigan to ni nasirang National Artist FC ni Jose Matalik na kaibigan, si Kawabata or Kawabata Yosunari, who is also uh, the mentor of Yukio Mishima, another famous novelist. Thank you, Prof. Riki. What is the most likely mechanism for the movement of tectonic plates? The knowledge na to ay ginagamit natin to explain volcanic eruptions and earthquakes, convection currents. Prof. Neil, next question, please. 
what is the legal basis in declaring Filipino as the country's national language? Nakasaad dito sa ating saligang batas, ang tamang sagot ay 1987 Philippine Constitution. Prof. Wendell. Who became the first Filipina singer to make it to the Australian pop charts with the hit song, Come Closer to Me? She is the, also the first woman to score a number one hit in the Australian pop charts. Who is she? Uh, ang clue, uh, since wala naman nakasagot, uh, merong street named after her at uh, siya rin ang unang Pilipino na nanalo sa isang international song festival, sa Tokyo Music Festival. She's Pilita Corrales. May street sa Melbourne, sa, sa Australia, named after her. Ganun siya kasikat ng late 50s to early 60s. Thank you. Prof. Ricky? What is the enzyme responsible for DNA replication through synthesizing a new DNA strand from an original DNA strand. Ang main function nito ay maintenance ng genetic information at pagpasa-pasa ng mga information na to through generation. The correct answer is DNA polymerase. Prof. Neil. Who has the most wins? of the FIFA World Cups by any player. Ang tamang sagot ay Pele. Prof. Wendell. What is considered the highest film honor in France, the French equivalent to the Oscars? Kung ang Britain may BAFTA, ano naman meron sa France? <laughs> Alvin. Kan. Mali. <laughs> ang correct answer dito ay Cesar Award. At ang isa sa pinakamaraming best na nanalo nito ay ang international French actress na si Catherine Deneuve. Prof. Ricky? Which strong acid is the main component of the stomach acid? This acid is important for food digestion, hydrochloric acid. Prof. Neil. Guru Nanak founded which religion in the late 15th century? Ito ay isang reliyon na pinagsama ang mga tradisyong Hindu at Muslim. Ang tamang sagot ay sikisip. And that's it for K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. And that's it for K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Gabby, our K-Check Daily winner, with a final score of 140 points. We'll see Gabby again on Friday when he competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semifinals. Thanks to Well, Alvin, and Polly for joining, and to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Wendell, Professor Ricky, and Professor Neil. This is Aimee Sue Martinez. And I am Junella Bohr. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check! K -check!